Hey folks, we're back. Uh, we thought we'd show our new jig um, for making frames. This one, this jig you can buy, it came from Man Lake. Um, and it's pretty good, actually. We, we like it. It's pretty easy to, to load up. And as Melissa demonstrates, So while Melissa's gluing, I'm going to load the top bars. The nice thing about this jig, it puts a lot of pressure. These are really strong springs underneath over here on each side. And it really grips the frame nice and tight. We're of course using a Type Bond 3 Ultimate Wood Glue on these frames because it's the strongest glue and what I see one is these these frames separating on you. It's a and and you have to use glue. The glue is stronger than the nails or in this case staples. So I'll be stapling these with one and a quarter inch um, narrow crown staples that actually have a glue on them. They're DeWalt brand. Uh, and they're coated with glue. So now we got our tops done. Also, should also point out these are Man Lake frames. I like these frames because they have this nice bevel right here and the machining is just better. Now, since Man Lake bought out Kelly, they actually have two frames. They have the Kelly frames and the Man Lake frames. You can, the, the Kelly frames are cheaper and I used to use Kelly, but their quality just kind of went downhill after it no longer was the Walter T. Kelly company. So anyway, you flip it. Tap it like that, you're, you've got access to your bottoms. Once again, Melissa will, will apply my glue. And I'll set the bottoms in. Another nice thing about the Kelly frames is this bottom bar is not 3 8 it's a full half inch wide, so it's much stronger. These are top and bottom groove bars, I mean, excuse me, frames for uh, use in plastic foundation.
And so getting your jig out, you can either do two methods. One is to pull the, the easiest is to pull the frame and leave the spring in place. The two inserts come out and then you can just slide out all your frames. And to get your jig set back up, nice thing is you know exactly which direction. They, they did a good job with these, these inserts. They're rounded, they got rounded over edges. And so you know which side goes where. Drop that in. And then they put, they stapled felt. And just set your frame back and you're ready to go. We're going to show you how I stack frames real quick in this video too. So we'll spin around over here. show you the, if I can get it. Alright, so stacking frames now. You want to make sure you stay pretty plumb and true. Take a frame, set the, the edge which is thicker along your bars. And all you have to do is drop it in and then spread the lower one. Like so. Ah, I, of course, only when I'm doing video would I have difficulty, but that's part of the course, right? As long as they're in there, they'll, they'll now not stack and you can go pretty high with these things. And there you have it. So okay folks, Buster has the photo bomb. Say hello Buster. Oh, Dad. Alright, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.